Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carlos Phoenix with the Indie Lounge, and I am in I Lounge, and I have special guests. I'm going to have them introduce themselves because they have something different than poetry to talk about. So we'll start off. Okay, how you doing? My name is Jails, better known as J. Marie Photography, No Label Image. And my name is Tafari. I am a animator and uh, we pretty much uh, have a TV show coming out called Fickle Minded and it'll be on Ambition Television 519 channel 519 so check that out shout out to Dee Dee um, Dee Dee Stewart. Stewart you know what I'm saying follow her Ambition uh, magazine Ambition uh, television radio station all the above she's doing it big so tell us a little bit about the series what is it about um, who's writing it who's directing it stuff like that Okay, I'm the writer and Tafari is the director. Um, it's about uh, fickle mind is basically what the definition is uh, about uh, nine individuals though going through the fickle things in life, um, indecisive, um, inconsistent, unsure, and they just acted out with uh, a script to it. It's real life situations that I've either noticed or someone have told me um, about things that they go through in life. Pretty much um, waking up in the morning not having a job and not knowing how that happened or um, someone stealing their stuff. Um, it's just a lot of fickle things in this world that you don't know, like us having uh, problems with Korea. We don't know why. It's just crazy things in this world we don't know about. But nine characters acted out through the good and bad, and they uh, turned situations into uh, adventures, and comedy, uh, laughter. Um, it's just it's, it's a real good new, brand new idea we don't based on uh, violence and heavy drugs we stray away from there and we just show the good things in the youth nowadays and try and give you something new so what's your shooting style for the series uh, for the, the these episodes you'll be doing are you shooting it like uh, like if it was a reality show or are you shooting it like a sitcom type of stuff well what's that that what's the look on the, of the of the show It's not exactly a reality show. We're trying to stay away from that. Uh, it's more of a sitcom, you know, a sit-down family type of show that you would watch. It's going to give you some empowerment and keep you watching. <laughs> right. much. She sounds very shy. And, yes, she's directing it. Very cool. So um, now what got you guys into the film industry? Because you, you seem pretty young. So, so have you been going to school for it? Or, you know, give me some background. Perfect. Uh, we attend Westwood College together, uh, graphic design. She's uh, animation, right. and I'm graphic design. Just uh, I pretty much do photography. That's why I took it, and I wanted to do further things with my photography. And we pretty much connected there at Westwood College. Uh, College North graphic design, photography. Out of nowhere comes a, a TV series. Where did, how did, like... <laughs> So we're just chilling, we're eating lunch, la, 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 la. <laughs> hey, let's do a show. Tell me a little bit about that. It's actually a funny story because, oh, my phone's going off, excuse me. <laughs> it's really a funny story because uh, Jails came up to me and she was telling me about the show I did and apparently I was real busy and she, I was real nonchalant about it, like, yeah, okay, but Something about it just spoke to me, and I just started working on different things, and <laughs> we kind of made made things work. Connected, yeah. So, so whose idea was it? <laughs> Mine. Uh, I pretty much, uh, cause I was in the military for four years, and like I've seen so much, and I just like I write a lot of stuff down, and I'm like, my friends told me I should do comedy, cause I'm like very weird and all the above and I'm very creative so they were just like you should write a book I'm like look that take too long I would prefer to act it out or something or have other people and I don't like to front of the camera so I'm surprised to be doing this but oh, um sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh, <laughs> that's why I'm the photographer but um yeah it's pretty much um I don't know why, what made me just say let's do it now but I think it's because I have more time on my hand and I'm in the right environment and the Best place to do it is Atlanta, so, and plus I met Tafari, so. Very cool. Well, okay, so where can people find out more about this series? Have you have you put a website together? What's the story? A Facebook, a Twitter, what's it, what, where, how to communicate with you? Our website, unfortunately, is currently under construction, but we do have a Facebook page. Uh, just search uh, Fickle Minded, and we should come right up. 
we also have a Twitter, Fickle Minded One, um, and an Instagram, Fickle Minded 360. It's basically it's a whole turnabout. So, it's, I mean, we got more things, but right now you just find us on there and you'll find out from there. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. And, um, you know, they, they, I just crisscrossed them. They were doing the photography for the poetry here in Eye Lounge. And, and, and they told me they were doing some projects, so I wanted to hear about it. Well, thank you guys for watching also. Thank you guys for talking to me. And I'm going to have some information right down here. So keep watching. There's more to come. Shout out to my mom. <laughs>